Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Apigee Accelerator series. In this video, you'll see how to improve an API's performance by leveraging Apigee's built-in caching policies to improve response times, lower costs, or decrease load on your backend services while still being able to scale. Let's take a high-level look at how this works with a cache response policy. Say you have Apigee in front of your API and the request comes in. If the response from the API is not in the cache, the request will be forwarded to the target backend. Once a response is received, it is placed into the cache using the key of your choosing and forwarded to the API client. On subsequent requests, if the cache lookup succeeds, the response is sent immediately to the API client without placing additional load on the target backend. Now that you've seen the high level overview, let's see how to deploy the accelerator. In order to run this sample, you need to have an Apigee X instance provisioned with access configured for external traffic. And as a user, you'll need to have access to deploy the API proxies. This can be granted using either the API admin or org admin roles. And lastly, to deploy the sample, you'll need the command line tool shown here. Good news is that if you're using Google Cloud Shell, these are already installed. This sample can be demonstrated using either the Cloud Shell Quick Start tutorial or following the setup instructions. In this video, we'll use the Cloud Shell Quick Start. Click Open in Google Cloud Shell to open the Cloud Shell environment. Once the environment is loaded, let's follow the instructions provided in the tutorial. First, you will want to make sure that you log in using the right account. Then, we'll navigate to the right folder and then open the env.sh file. There, we're going to set the environment variables to reference your Apigee project, the target environment, and the external host name. Next, run the included script to deploy the sample to your Apigee instance. This will take about a minute to complete. Once it completes, you'll see a message with the API proxy URL. Now, to test the effect of caching, we'll run a curl command that outputs the total response time. Take note of the total time from the first request. We'll run the same request a subsequent time. This time, the request will be served from cache as can be seen by the lower response time, almost 10x faster in my instance. All right. Now that you've seen this policy in action, let's take a look at how this is configured in Apigee. In a new tab, open the API Management UI. You can navigate to it from the Google Cloud Console by searching for Apigee in the search bar. In the API Proxies page, you should see the basic caching proxy. Select the proxy and go to the Develop tab. You'll see several policies, but the one you're interested in right now is the response cache policy. This is where you configure the cache key to use, how long the item should remain in the cache, and conditions for which you should skip looking up an item from the cache or placing an item into the cache. When you're done with this sample, you can switch back to the Cloud Shell editor to provide us feedback and to use the cleanup script to delete the configuration that was deployed to your Apigee instance. Thanks for watching. I hope this content was useful to you. If you have not signed up for Apigee yet, use this link. If you have any questions, please visit the Apigee community and subscribe to our channel to see more videos in the Apigee Accelerator series.